All righty, so today there was a slight leak. I guess it's not a slight leak since all the information is posted except for the renderings on Zamperla's website. Someone's getting fired, but oh well, it works out to our favor. favor. Um, so the stats for Top Fuel Dragster 2 uh, Lightning Launch, that's not going to be the name of the ride, don't worry. That's just the manufacturer's name. Um, so the total track length is uh, 1,043 meters or 3,420 20. 22 feet uh, maximum height of 128 meters or 420 feet which i'll talk about in a second it's going to have three trains and five vehicles per train and it's going to be 20 passengers per a, tra a train um, with a height restriction of 48 inches which is like the purple wristband at canada's wonderland for those of you watching um so one thing about that is the spike is looks like it's going to be a max height of 420 feet um, which means that the ride isn't obviously going to travel up to 100, uh, 420 feet. I think that it'll be anywhere between like 360, 380 feet that the train travels up. Um, there were other stats released on the ride as well, further detailed ones. So let me just get that for you guys. Um, it's going to be the world's first reimagined strata coaster and the fastest and tallest LSM triple launch coaster. Thanks to the all-new linear synchronous motor LSM launch system, riders will experience three unique launches. A forward launch at a speed of 119 kilometers an hour, or 74 miles per hour, which leads into a new crowd favorite, the rollback. A second backward launch reaching a speed of 163 kilometers an hour, 101 miles per hour, climbing at a 90 degree angle on the new 128 meter, 420 foot tall vertical spike. A third launch that clocks in the rider's top speed of 193 kilometers an hour, 120 miles per hour, and speeds over the 128 meter, 420 foot top hat before diving into the 270 degree spiral. So those are all the statistics of the launches. Um, and yeah, so I think it's going to be amazing. I, I'm still going to drive up to Cedar Point and ride Top Thrill Dragster 2, whatever they decide to call it. And uh, yeah, those are my thoughts on the ride. I think it's amazing. I think a lot of people are going to be really upset. I think a lot of people overhyped, you know, this breaking some records. I definitely thought it was going to break records too, so I'm not hating on anyone who... Who said that? Um, but what I really like is there was a video leaked. I didn't put it in this video because I don't think the video was supposed to be posted, so I didn't want to post it. But I posted a little screenshot here of their switch track, and it's really good. Like it looks very intimate, like it moves really quickly, very smoothly. So that was really impressive. It gives me really high hopes for Zamperla's work on this ride. But there's another piece of information I wanted to touch on, and this is such an Amusement Insiders piece of information that I thought was really exciting that I think a lot of people overlooked. Um, so they talk about in a little segment um, how Cedar Fair and some Perla came together on this project. And sorry, if you can't tell, I've lost my voice. I had laryngitis. Um, this is my first video, but nonetheless, you don't care. You're here for this. Together, Cedar Fair corporate team, their experienced design studio, and Cedar Point's team of experts and Zamperla roller coaster business unit work to create a record-breaking triple launch experience on the shores of Lake Erie. So what I really want to focus on here for you guys is the experience design studio. If you remember a video I made about four months ago, I talked about a new design team that Cedar Fair had hired. Um, they hired some ex-Universal Studios um, design um, personnel. They hired like one, the guy that was in charge of di designing Islands of Adventure. Um, so this is the first time you're seeing that in writing in such a descriptive way. So the experience design studio. So that's really exciting for someone like me who's really in love with theme parks and you see all these new projects coming to the Cedar Fair Park. So this is one of those things. It's almost like Cedar Fair's version of Imagineering. So I thought that was really exciting and I just wanted to talk about that a little bit here for you guys. Um, but yeah, so super exciting news. What do you guys think? Comment down below. Are you upset with it not being a record breaker in terms of breaking King to Cause records? Um, or are you happy with it being the world's fastest and tallest triple launch coaster? I'm happy. I'm excited. I'm going to make the drive there. Um, but yeah, have a good one, guys. Bye.